hello guys so today here to discuss how to pass one method as a parameter so today we're going to discuss this so before that I go on to create some few methods public int method one this will accept the string parameter input okay this will return me zero okay likewise I create one more method public bool accept method something like this here I just use the func uh, delegates okay I will explain you shortly string Okay, I will just convert this application to console app. So static Okay, fine. So Okay, fine. So what I did uh, is I created one class. So one is the uh, a static class method one that will accept the input parameter string that will return me the result zero. The second method I uh, created the para uh, uh, method uh, with return type int. 
and uh, this will accept me the parameter a uh, functional parameter functional is commonly is a delicate delicate commonly you know it is like a function pointer it will point one function method that is what all about func so uh, so this parameter it will accept the input string and a uh, written type is a uh, int that is what all about here so it is a uh, input and output so our uh, output i stored uh, into the integer value that is returning so this uh, uh, class method i called in the main mm, i pass the method one already i declared uh, the input parameter here if you want you can pass it over here as well something okay go okay uh, sorry uh, so my logic is different here it will accept the input and it uh, return is a uh, integer type so uh, that I can't uh, call from here so I can uh, declare this method but I need to pass uh, input uh, from here only so that's fine so I'll run this I will get a result as a zero so I'm getting the result as zero so I'll keep the breakpoint here so now my parameter hold the method with return type integer so you can see that name private the implementation here okay so I just go step next so uh, it's uh, heated my parameter so the parameter is a method one so it accepted my string input whatever the string I just uh, returning zero because I'm not writing any much logic this is just for your understanding purpose you can do whatever the string operation you can write some condition my string means return zero or return one so this will hit and it will return me the zero that is what all about so if you want I will write some logic over here if input equal to my string return one otherwise else return one okay fine so here I just changing to my now I'm running uh, again my application so step into that so it's come here and then it's returning me the one so I hold now is one so I hold the one so this will return me the result okay so my return is type is one so hopes so you understand how to use a method as a parameter normally by using the func uh, you can achieve this in a c-shop so hopes you understand the uh, tutorial what I uh, did today so if you still have any doubt queries please comment us just follow what I done this is a just a sample so you can try in your method one away with your creativity thanks for watching the video guys